It's a familiar story. I have some memory, but not full memory. The police minister says she learnt private security would be used in quarantine hotels at a 2pm meeting with the police and emergency services bosses the day the program was being set up. I believe private security was raised by Commissioner Crisp. I, I'm, I'm pretty confident the ADF issues were raised by uh, Mr Ashton. It backs Graham Ashton's claims that he didn't make the decision. My expectation would that it should um, have been made in consultation with the Chief Commissioner. The Minister was forced to explain text messages she sent to Andrew Crisp in June asking what the Defence Force would do at hotels given no one leaves. She told the inquiry she sent the texts after learning via the media about Mr Crisp's request for 850 personnel. But I think that probably more reflects that I was pretty cranky at that point. But she conceded hiring the guards may not have been the problem. Instead, the issues were caused by poor management and infection control. The carnival of amnesia continues. If, uh, if amnesia was COVID, the Labor government would be its own little hotspot. Not even the jobs minister, whose department was tasked with hiring the security companies, knows how the guards came to be used. And he says he didn't even know there were issues with the way the program was being run until the inquiry was announced. I don't recall specifically how I became aware of that. It may have been from um, media reportage, it may have been from uh, a conversation. But his memory was clearer when he recalled who was ultimately in charge of the program. The Department of Health and Human Services, ultimately um, the Department of Health and Human Services. The Department of Health and Human Services were the control agency. Um, our department had a role in assisting. And that department answers to the Health Minister, Jenny McCarkos. She'll appear at the inquiry tomorrow. Someone who won't appear is a hairdresser whose salon's here in the Stamford Plaza lobby. They claim security company MSS breached its duty of care by not telling them hotel guests had coronavirus. Their request to appear has been denied. Bridget Rollison, ABC News, Melbourne.